All right, so now we're gonna start up the engine. I'll pour some oil all over the engine. So we're about to start it up and see how it goes. I might have to use some starter fluid, but let's give it a crank. Okay. Battery need charging. So yeah, this is the voltage. I have a voltage meter hooked up to the battery. So yeah, we gotta go charge the battery. Well, actually, this is from my bunk heater, but it has a built-in um, battery um, voltage on it. So let's go charge the battery up. What I'm doing now is charging, charging. Uh, Charging the truck up. The battery hooked up. So I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes or so. Let's see what the well the volt meter probably reading what the what the Jeep is putting out. So it's not gonna give me an accurate reading yet until I take the wires off, the cables off. Let's give it another try. So I realize we're leaking diesel, so that's why it's probably not starting. We're leaking diesel right down there. So I'm gonna tighten it and see if that helps. Oh yeah, it's loose. All right, so let me tighten this bad boy up. This is a problem right there. Alright, let me tighten this up and cut you guys back on. Alright, let's try it now. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we're gonna get lucky this time. Ooh, it stored up and immediately I turn it off. I don't want to get it, you know, like a hard start. So it start up. Ooh, let me take this wood off the. I don't know why that is up there. But that sucker just start up. That sucker just start up, but immediately I turn it off because I don't know if I'm scared, <clears throat> but I want to just want to come over here and take another look. Make sure I don't see nothing out of the ordinary before it really get going. All right, so let's go start it up again. <laughs> the truck started. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, baby.
right, so the truck is running. Everything sound good. Um, so that's a good thing. Anyway, now I got to put on the valve cover and take it for a spin down the block. Also, I don't have one of those fancy computers, so I've written down all the numbers on the injectors. So after I take it for a spin, at a later time, I'm going to take it to a shop and let them hook up their computer and make sure my injectors are running good because they may need to program the injectors.